Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a super Sunday morning, a good looking Sunday morning. It's BB's crooning. You're on the controls and we're ready to share the good news. Hey, that's right. We'll be doing some credit this morning. He just don't come in for nothing. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, he brings you in. That's right. That's right. Hey, he's he brings it in. Just, uh, man, nobody does it like him. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey, you got some good news for us. I'm going to step back. I'm going to turn it over to you and, and, and let you uh, take us to that highest height with the good news and with news. Here he is, Pastor Mark Barrett with Christ in Action. Pastor, you got it. All right. We call it a super Sunday morning because we're looking to God and his word. We're connected day by day through to him and we bring you this daily connection to keep you connected and when you're connected to God and his word you know what you might as well look for supernatural things it's God's ability because it comes into your life and flows continually to you because of his great love with which he loves us that love expressed and given to us the God of the universe who made all things, wanting to uh, stay in right relationship with us and make us righteous, came in the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring forgiveness to us. As the writer said in Colossians chapter one, in him we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. And so it all comes down to love. That song is B.B. Sings coming on. There's one line in there that says, left without a word to say, what kind of love would place itself in harm's way and surely beyond me. And so, you know, that surpassing greatness of God's love is the foundation of our trust in him and our relating to him and it is also the foundation, motivation, inspiration in how we relate to one another. Both in Matthew 18 and in Luke 17, Jesus is teaching and his disciples ask him a question. He's, they said to him, how often should we forgive? Seven times in one day, and Jesus says something to them that uh, I guess in some way shocked and startled them. But he says, and I say not unto you seven times, but 70 times seven. Yeah. Who has the opportunity to forgive someone 490 times in one day? And so it shows the order of magnitude of the forgiveness that Christ uh, looks for us to walk in in love and uh how can we do that? You know, the disciples, when he said to them in Acts in Luke chapter 17, verse five, they said, after he told them that they said, Lord, increase our faith. <laughs> it takes a whole lot of faith to do that. And y'all know that uh, we feel, you know, at times the same way, uh, especially when something is constantly pressing you and you're constantly seeing it and dealing with it from day to day. Uh, it's hard for us sometimes to walk in this expectation of forgiveness. However, uh, it is as we realize that ultimately our forgiveness of others is really faith in God. What do you mean by that? Sometimes we're unwilling to forgive because we feel like we've got to hold somebody and keep a record that if I hold this, that somehow is going to force some behavior or response that we desire when that's simply not true. What it does is it locks us down, locks us up and it causes us 
to become more and more sullen and and uh, and dry, and and uh, it will it begins to in fact hold us hostage, and so then uh, our faith towards God ultimately is that we do whatever we do, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 23, heartily as unto the Lord, for we serve him. Now, in doing what we do heartily as unto him, it affects then how we deal with other people and how we love one another, how we forgive one another. It's interesting that Jesus, in that prayer we call the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6, he, he teaches us to pray Forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. So forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You know, I believe it's a sense of, of, of the Lord Jesus' uh, desire for us to understand that as we walk in a faith towards him, that ultimately that faith has to come to a point that we don't try to hold people accountable to things uh, as such that somehow we hold some power uh, to make things happen. Ran today, out of faith in God and out of trust in God, let the hurts of yesterday, of today, let them go. Let it down like a water off a duck's back. And uh, as you do, you know what you're going to find? That you are freed up to rest your faith in God and to walk out his love just as he loves us. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion of Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. Why? Because together we're the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us, mobilize his mission of making him known, and sharing his love with others. Hey, Connected Church is online, 1030 Central Standard Time. Join us. Uh, on Facebook and YouTube. We'd love to see you there. That's good news on this Super Sunday morning, Pete. Hey, it is a Super Sunday morning, Pastor, and it's going to be a Super Sunday tomorrow, Lord willing, when you and I'll be able to again have uh, two Super Sunday mornings Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now. All right, we go in the strength and ability of our God today, and uh, we love with the love with which we are loved. Let us forgive today. Let us release. Make a list of people to release, and watch the release come in your own heart and mind as your faith is extended towards God, that he has the ultimate outcome. And you know what? He is working all things together for our good. If we love him, we are called according to his purpose. And he allows us then to, 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 to be an agent of good in the lives of others. Forgive somebody today. Forgive everybody. <laughs> Have a great day. Hey, don't forget, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'd love to connect with you at our Sunday uh, online service. Uh, we're now that we're online today and we're online every Sunday. We will be back in person next week here in Huntsville at the Mid City uh, Holiday Inn Ballroom. All right. Love you. Bye bye for now. <laughs>